Okay, on left here we have a switch statement. The syntax being used is what you'd expect if we were programming in C or JavaScript minus the semicolons. However, Golang switch syntax is a little bit different. For one, the parameter being evaluated is not placed within parentheses. Another difference is that you do not have to declare break at the end of a case statement in order to avoid falling through into the next case. So if we save this and run it on the right, we see that it executes as expected. If for some reason we did want one case to fall in the next case, we could use the keyword fall through. And like the if statement go, we have the option to do variable declaration and initialization in the first line of the switch statement. Lastly in Go, we have the option to remove the condition for the switch statement entirely. This effectively makes the switch statement an alternative to an if-then statement. And it works as expected.